Hello my friends, we're back in Luminar Neo and today I am going to show you how to edit outdoor photos into a brown warm tone. I will start with the develop and I want to go to the white balance and first thing I want to do is just adjust the white balance a little bit to make it seem like it was more of a sunset. Then from there I want to go into the color balance. Let's see, color balance over here. Let me just tell you the best best way to do this is to actually start with a warm photo. Do it, your photos during sunrise, sunset, fall. But we'll work with what we have and we see what we can get done. I would like to move the yellows more towards oranges, maybe somewhere around there. I'll move the oranges a, lot, a little bit towards the reds. Um, okay, the red stores magenta. The greens, I will move all the way into the yellows, get rid of those greens. The cyan will move it pretty down too, and so will the blue. Maybe a little bit of the purple as well. All right, we already eliminated a lot of the cool colors. Next, we will go to the saturation. And on the saturation, well, I like to take the saturation down first on everything. And then I will increase it on the colors that I want. So I'll increase it in the orange and in the yellow and in the reds, and then I'm taking it down on the greens, not 100%, but, you know, pretty down. So I'll do it the cyans, the blues. I'll leave the purple, we don't really have much purple here. Okay, so now we have a more yellow tone image. Let's go into the luminance. I want to brighten the orange, because that's where the skin tones are, and I want to keep the skin tones bright. Maybe the reds a little bit. We have a lot of yellow here. You see, that will make a big difference. I can bring it down. I can bring it up. So I'm going to bring it down, but just a tiny little bit, just so it can separate the subject from the background. Maybe around there. The greens I'm going to take down. The cyan I'm going to take down and the blue. All right, maybe something like that. Next, I want to go to toning. And here was where we add some colors. I'll go to the highlights. I'll increase the amount to 100 just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm increasing the saturation to 100. And I will put the hue somewhere into a nice orangey yellow tone. Maybe somewhere there. Then I'll decrease the saturation and the amount. All right, let's see. This is so far before and after on the toning. Now we're going to the shadows. And for the shadows, I'll increase the saturation to see what I'm doing. And I want a reddish color in there. So maybe around, oh my, maybe around there. And then I will take it down to about there. So this is before toning, after tanning, toning. All right, um, what else do I want to do? I want to add a little bit of shadows so I have a little bit more contrast. So I'll just drag the shadows down to maybe around there. All right, what else? I can go onto the develop and I want to add more magenta. I'm going to the greens. And the opposite of green is magenta, so I'm just going to drag it down a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And now I'm going to paint it out of the subject. So with this selected, I will take an eraser tool, big large eraser tool, and erase at 77 opacity. Just erase it from here. Okay. That was good. What else can we do? Um, I want to do like a vignette almost around it. So I am going to close the develop and then open it again. And I'm going to raise the exposure a little bit. That's too much. Maybe like that. But I only want to paint this over my subject. Strength 100. Just paint it over here in the middle. Kind of brighten it. 
Okay. And now I'll close it and I'll open it again and I'll do another one. But this time I am going the opposite. I am going to darken it. And I will paint it on the outside only like a vignette. Whoops. Where is my mask? There you go. Okay. We did that. What else can we do? I can go, I'll go to landscape and I'll add a little bit of golden hour. Just a little bit. And that helps. What else? I can go to mystical and add a little bit of mystical. Now this is kind of blurring up my subject, so I will erase them from my subjects. All right, let's see how we went so far. We started with this and we're here. It's pretty golden, all right. Now we're going to, let's see, what other tools can we use? I'm going to use mood and I am going to apply a lot that has very reddish tone, which is Rosa. And there you go. That's the lot before and after. It's a little too much. I'm going to decrease the amount. Let's see now before and after. Okay. This is our whole image before and after before and after. What else? Well, definitely too saturated. So we'll have to go back to color. And we need to turn down the saturation because it's looking way, way overdone. So maybe just something like that. What else can I go? Maybe a little bit of enhance. All right. Let's see now. This is before and after. Before and after. Now, I would have probably desaturated even more because it's pretty saturated. Maybe desaturate more and then, let's see. Maybe I wanna desaturate the sky even more. So I'll close the color, I'll open it again, desaturate some more. And I'll only paint this on the sky. I'm not sure that did anything. Very little. All right, let's see this before and after again. What else can we do? Maybe we want to fade it out a little bit. We'll go back to develop. We'll go into the luminance curve and just raise the shadows a little bit. Then down to get more contrast. And now we have a more faded look. I'll raise it up in the middle to get the skin tones. All right, let's see this before and after the fade before and after the edit, before and after. Maybe we can even drag down a little bit, get more contrast. I don't know, I kind of like the, the faded look. All right. What else? I'm gonna go to face face light, maybe brighten up the faces a little bit. Not too much, we don't want to seem too unreal. We can also go to portrait bokeh. We can blur the background a little bit if we want. All right. We can add a little bit of atmosphere, maybe. All 
let's see now this is before and after before and after I still believe we we took it way too too far you should never go this far with your edits just try to get it right from the beginning and then you know edit it a little bit here and there but I was asked to try this edit so I did it this is the best I could do for this image before and after as I said it's better if you actually take the photo in a golden hour and you get the beautiful golden light coming on the people and stuff but we didn't have that we worked with pretty bright greens and there you go that's how you would that's how I would do it thank you so much for watching my name is Kyla Ewing. I will see you in my next video.